So we're talking battery mod today, uh, replacing aging batteries with lithium, moving them inside the van. So the first thing I did is I went in, in my Victron and I turned on, turned off the charger. And I turned off my house battery and disconnected from shore power. So then under the van, I've already done this. I'm just gonna show you. So up here, I removed all the wires from here. The positive one, I routed a positive cable from inside the van down here, and I used a buck connector and connected it there. And the ground had two grounds going to it, so I ran a ground from the inside of the cabin, and I put in this bus bar here. I need to tighten that one. And uh, that has a cover that goes over it. So that's all the wiring I did under here. And it goes through there, my previous hole. I need to fill that again. And then in just a minute, we'll move up top and I'll show you what I did inside the van. Okay, so we finished uh, the electrical part of the battery install. I still have to do some cosmetic stuff, but um, I'm going to go ahead and re-enable charging. That's done. So one thing I did was I installed a shunt, which shows me my battery level current I'm pulling pulling right now um, how many pa how much power and time remaining on the batteries that the current draws it's a cloudy rainy day so I don't have much solar coming in but that's okay I used some scrap wire to get it all installed, so I just finished installing all the new wire. But here's my setup down here. I've got four 100 amp hour lithium mini batteries. So I was able to fit all four down here. I'm going to build a table to go over them. Um, I've got the small table that I've had before that comes to here. But I'm going to make another one to go all the way across. And there's the shunt back there. All right, so here in the battery compartment, a few more things. Um, I've got, I wonder if I can turn on my flash, there we go. I've got the positive and negative that come down through there. And that's what we saw connected underneath the chassis. Um, the red is buck connected to the uh, hot from the factory. And then the black one goes to that distribution block down there. And then everything is wired in parallel. Um, you have the negative at the far end. So I got three battery and four batteries. One, two, three, and four. And you have the negative at the far end over there, which goes up into the shunt that's over there. Um, and the shunt has, the shunt's grounded here. The shunt is also on the far red terminal there as well as the red terminal over here so it can monitor the battery bank in two different places all that wiring over there is for the air conditioning i've got my uh, power inverter that runs directly off the batteries and it powers three electrical outlets which i've shown in another video and then that converter up there converts ac to 12 volts and it goes through a switch that i have it's on the outside over here where I can run the air conditioning directly from shore power through this converter so I'm not drawing off the batteries while um, I'm plugged into shore power. So it kind of bypasses the whole battery bank and um, eliminates the load on the converter that's down there because that converter is um, not as powerful as that one. Also, uh, these shelves that I made here, I had some people ask about those. Pretty simple. I put on this side, I put the supports here and across that way, both of the shelf down to there. And then have I have one leg here. Um, and you can actually see my fan there too. But show that again. It's on now. Super quiet. That switches over here. The other shelf that I have there's 
one-handed here. It just has one leg, nothing else. And I just sit it down like this. And these screws just go right into the holes I have in there. And that's what holds it in place. All right, so it's 70 something outside and sunny. It's hot in here because I've had sun beaming in the windows all day. I've had the air going for about 20 minutes now on high. And this says I'm drawing 11 current, 11 amps of current here. Uh, let's check the, oops, let me do that. Let's check the battery level. <clears throat> that says it's at 99% with a current of negative 14 being drawn. So I'm drawing 14 amps of current. This says I got 15 hours left. Because that current also takes into consideration the solar that I'm using to charge the batteries. So, AC on high, got 15 hours. That's pretty, pretty impressive. So let's try something here. If I go to here, in here, the van is unplugged from shore power. And if I go to disable my charger, and then I go into here, <clears throat> now I'm drawing 26 amps. That's how much of a difference the solar makes. And you see it's compensating for that change. That's going to go down a good bit. I still probably level out about 10 hours or so. So you could easily run this AC on high all night long. So that shows a little bit about how that solar compensates for your amperage draw in the shunt. 